Hello everyone and welcome to another video on Tana. Today we're going to go into creating some advanced, uh, well, advanced default searches with functionality that Tana doesn't support out of the box. So one of the reasons I use Tana is uh, to organize my day. So that's also one of the reasons I created EventLink. And for those who don't know it, EventLink is simply a way to get um, calendar information into Tana easily when you're using macOS. Um, but don't worry, this sort of structure works for everything uh, that you want to do manually. So you don't need event link, but I'm going to show you based on how it works using event link. So in order to get my events, I run the get events command, which imports all of the events from uh, my Apple calendar into Tana. And the cool stuff is, is that now, uh, when I go into one of these events, you can see there are several default searches that have been populated. In this case, for instance, this shows my previous meetings with Arturo. And here it already searches for the personal goals that I might want to discuss with Arturo because they are connected to him and other discussion points and delegated to do's. Now, for those who have tried to set something up like this in Tana before, they know it's not possible. Because one of the things you need in order to get this working, if you zoom into the query, is this. You need to be able to set the name of the person that is here. And in order to do that dynamically, you would need to refer to the value of this field and Tana doesn't support it yet. But luckily, a couple of months ago, something was added that can act as sort of a workaround and still get this working. Now, if we go into the command uh, that I use to get the events in there, uh, we'll go and see how this actually works. So let's start with the first part. Um, we can ignore the make API request for now because this is part of event link. Um, and I want to focus on how to get these set up. Uh, so if you go in here, you can see there are several of these commands that are being run on each of these children as soon as I get an API request. And when we dive into one of these, for instance, the search previous meetings, what happens here is it's basically it has a node filter. So this will only run on meetings that are tagged as one on one. And it has this new command called insert Tana paste. And what it does is basically it uses Tana paste, which has some very interesting functionalities and inserts it. So in this case, what I do is I use Tana paste to fill this field called previous meetings with this search query, which you can see by the uh, the two presented signs and then search with a specific view, uh, a calendar view in this case, uh, as you saw before. And basically afterwards, I am creating the search query using Tana paste. Now, normally you would say like, what advantage does this have? But if you look here, you can see that this way actually supports prompt expressions. And prompt expressions allow you to refer to the value of a field. And that's exactly that we need. So in this case, the search is find everything tagged with one on one, where the attendees is the same as the field attendees that I'm running this on now. And the last one is just a normal search thing that says, hey, I only want to see the, the last 180 days. If you do this, then you get this result. Now, if you let's see how this actually works, if we remove this field, and we want to do this manually because now I showed you a command that does this all at the same time, but you can just as much simply edit the, the meeting command. In this case, let's go and configure it. And we're going to add uh, the command here in advanced and we're going to search for previous meetings. There we go, the 101. Now, when I set that here and I return to the day, you can see if we, uh, there's a button there. So for those who don't know it, this is the way to add buttons to tags. You can add them to any node, but this is the easiest way to add them to a tag. And when we click here, it actually adds the previous meeting. So as you can see, it was empty and it added it. So uh, I already reported the bug because now I would expect the previous meeting field to show up. Uh, but it doesn't uh, because I guess something is wrong uh, that uh, this one is hidden when empty and maybe setting it through the command doesn't quite work. Um, but that's easy to fix. 
For instance, if you uh, uh, collapse it and uncollapse it, then it's actually there. And here you can see it actually works. So you can set up all kinds of default searches using a single button. Uh, and it's really powerful functionality. And you can also see like if you remove it here, then the button also goes away. So this is a cool way to sort of customize your experience and really get closer to Tana being off offering you all of the information that it needs. Now, for those using EventLink, you might notice that normally in EventLink, every meeting is tagged with the same tag. You can define the tag, but now you see that EventLink returns different tags for different meetings. And that's part of the latest version that I just released. Um, what I do is I allow you to look at the title field and search using something called the regular expressions, which is basically a fancy way to search through text and see if it matches, it will insert a specific tag. Now, it's a little bit too much to explain fully how it works, but the easiest way to explain it is in the URL, you can now add specific query variables, in this case, one dash one dash tag, anything that add and that ends with dash tag um, will be tagged with anything before that. So in this case, uh, one dash one dash tag uh, is looking at this regular expression. And if the field matches, then it will add the one on one tag. Now, before you can already see a simpler version. This actually says 3p tag a little bit before it's cut off. Uh, and it simply searches for the 3p value. Um, now, this is rather complicated to get running. But the easiest way is just to go to the manual. And there you will see that I made a nice description of how to get this working. And the easiest way actually is to simply copy this prompt and add that into ChatGPT to help you out. So for instance, if you want to have a regular expression that matches events with a title like Mihai and Andre or Peter and Andre, etc., uh, I just want to run turn the expression and the URL encoded version of it. So if you give it a little bit uh, time to answer, you can see this strange uh, character list here, but this is actually a regular expression. Um, and if we wait for it to finish, it will actually give you the URL encoded version of it. Now, this is mumbo jumbo, even to me, uh, but if you copy the code and then add it to your URL, as you can see, there's similar mumbo jumbo here, then it magically works. And you can just play with it until it sort of recognizes the correct tags. Uh, this is basically what I wanted to show you today. So yeah, one of the main reasons I created EventLink was that I want to sort of get start with my meeting and have everything already at my fingertips. And this was basically the last piece that was missing. So I'm really happy that, um, that I got this working. Thank you all for listening and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.